he hits me, I can still go in with this strike. You might get hit while you're defending yourself. Don't be afraid and keep fighting. Remember, the fight's not over till you win it's for self-defense. This video, you're gonna learn how to defend yourself with a walking stick or martial arts staff. Grab your martial arts staff or your walking stick and follow me. Kellen is also a weapons instructor, so I've asked him to help me demonstrate. And I'll be using this Japanese Joe, which is a shorter martial arts staff. It's not as long as that bow, which sits above my head a little bit. It doesn't matter the size or the length of your stick. If you can use it as a walking stick, it'll work for you. Now, the first thing I want you to think about is get behind your walking stick. If you're walking down the trail, or maybe you're walking in the city, you wanna get behind it, you perceive a threat. Now you have to defend yourself. He's coming in, you're gonna just point your thumb right at his midsection. Your left hand is in front of the body. I've made myself smaller by stepping back, creating some distance between him and myself. I point my thumb at the perceived threat. My back hand is gonna come down and close firmly over the back part of my staff. Now from this position, if he's close, I just lean a little bit and I hit him. All of the force of my body is concentrated here on the tip. That tip is looking for a soft target, anything you can destroy. It's for self-defense, anything you can break or destroy, eyes, nose, throat, uh, solar plexus, knock his wind out of him, put him on the ground. Once I hit him, if I wanna create more distance, I just open this hand a little bit, not take it off, but just loosen it, and it's almost like a pull cue. Remember, I've already hit him here. He's starting to move back. I just extend that a little bit, creating more distance. Now the second strike, it's in my hand. I pull back and I strike. He's bringing that punch in, he hits me. I can still go in with this strike. You might get hit while you're defending yourself. Don't be afraid and keep fighting. Remember, the fight's not over till you win for self-defense. Going into that punch, I have this staffed in. I'm just pushing. I've got a nice solid foundation with my feet. Even if you don't have a lot of mobility, if you use this, maybe this is a cane, he brings that in, he's hitting me in the face. Yeah, that was a good punch. I just put it in and it's the way that his body's moving that I'm able to turn it. Let's say he's got a street grab going on. I bring this up here, same thing. I'm just using leverage with this staff. Now it's even better if I get it up and I smash him with it as he's coming through. But watch this, here's the third strike. He comes in, we'll give him that street grab. He's got me going and choke me a little bit. Yeah, there you go, you can hear the voice change. He's hitting me here, I'm pushing here. But then look, the back of my staff is ready to come straight in on that strike. Focus on the principles, not the technique so much. The principle is, what can you break or destroy? Aim for those targets with the end of that staff and you're gonna concentrate all your energy now on that other tip. So I have the first one, I hit him here, that moves him back, makes him mad too. So he punches me straight in my jaw. Hits me kind of hard, smash him here, boom! Bring this up, bring it into the groin. If you can, bring it into the solar plexus, even better, strike him in the face. Now, I've got two bonus techniques for you, and they're both based on grabs. First one is he grabs me by the wrist. Bring this back here, push it up a little bit, and I wanna go into, let's let him see that, right here. You can see on my arm right there, that's where all my nerves are. I'm just going to push, this is my left hand, he's holding my left wrist, push down. That's either gonna pull his hand off or it's gonna push him on the ground. He's got me here, same thing on the wrist, push down, you can hold him there. Once you've broken his grip, you break his grip because you change the structure, how he's holding your hand. Now this one, slam in the face. Pull it back, push it through the middle. The whole time he's still holding my wrist. So he's got my wrist, it's here, I can strike him, I can push here, I can strike with that back one. Now the last one, the second bonus. Let's say instead of your wrist, he grabs your stick. If he grabs above, pull it up. You have a lot of leverage here, just push straight down. Slam him here. You wanted to let go that time. He should have hit me harder earlier so that that justified the payback. But he grabs the top again. I pull it up here, I can push in, I can also do a turning motion. That twists his arms up. If I keep turning, he's either gonna flip and go with it if I go fast enough, or he's just gonna fall on the ground. Most likely, he'll just let go. And what happens if he grabs below my hand? Then I'm gonna take the top of this, and I'm going to go the other way. Now look, my hands are in this position, kinda like I'm rowing a boat. 
We're doing push-ups. He grabs below, and this is all using leverage. Now this is some super secret ninja, Wing Chun, Kung Fu kind of stuff. This is just basic martial arts principles. He grabs both hands down there. I take my other hand on the top, see my palms facing out. I push down, pull this up. No matter how hard he's holding, now I've got it on his clavicle. All I have to do here, and I'm not gonna do it because it really hurts, is just jam as hard as I can straight to the floor. I can even take this hand off and I can move my hand up and I can add some more force. 